for the past couple of weeks, there's been a lot of hyperventilating about a sentence or two, and I'm glad to be able to address uh, not only what I wrote, but what I meant when I wrote it. Um, the one area that I think is important is that I do admit in this book a lot of successes and uh, in, 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 uh, in some missteps, and one of my most significant missteps, I think, as secretary, was when after we had that uh, very deliberative and tough discussion, I mean, we the President's Homeland Security Cabinet Group met with some frequency to decide whether, based on the information and intelligence, we should raise the threat level. More often than not, we did not, but we met from time to time to have that serious discussion. It's a tough call. On this instance, we had decided, given the information we got from through the Pakistani intelligence community, that we had to go up in New York, northern New Jersey, and Washington. As a prelude to answering to going up, uh, a, we decided I had to do a press conference, obviously, and it was at that press conference that I personally lauded the president's leadership in the war. Big mistake. Um, it had been the first and only time I had mentioned the president's name. It suggested uh, that I was using it for political reasons. Obviously not. The decision was made well before, and it marginalized the importance of the intelligence and the importance of going up. So I. Uh, created a, an environment where I had to spend two weeks on TV telling people we don't do politics. We don't do politics. But uh, now we have the situation where we have headlines like the one in USA Today on Mon uh, that said Ridge backpedals <laughs> on pressure to raise terror alert. Now, you never use the word pressure in the book. So are you backing away from what you said or what your publisher claimed you said? Because you your publisher does use the word yeah, pressure. Well, people characterize what I said in my book, and I'm not going to criticize anybody for characterization. I'm just glad to have an opportunity on shows like you to talk about what I said. I, I remember the interview we had the other day with the folks from USA Today, and it conjured up in my own mind. When I was governor of Pennsylvania, I used to take two- and three-day bike trips with several hundred cyclists around Pennsylvania, and I never backpedaled once in my life, and I'm not... <laughs> And I'm not starting it's now. It's putting on the brakes, isn't it? I'm not it? starting now. But the fact of the matter is uh, the opinion I rendered or the, the, the thought that I rendered in that chapter was, uh, again, right before the election, dramatic weekend. Some people wanted to go up, raise the threat level. We thought unanimously inside and others did. We shouldn't. shouldn't. Um, uh, and in the context, if everybody reads the whole chapter, I'm used, according to the end, is that politics is a security. I'm not going to second guess uh, either Attorney General Ashcroft or Secretary Rumsfeld. I worked with them. I just had to make sure there was nothing else out there I was missing. As it turned out, we didn't go up and it was the right decision. Well, it, it was in response to Osama bin Laden releasing a videotape yep. message the weekend before the election. Exactly. Precisely. And we had seen, I think there were probably 18 or 20 videotapes or audio message from either Bin Laden or uh, Zawahiri is number two. and But it's not just the videotapes or the audio tapes we dealt with on a regular basis. If everybody saw the threat matrix we looked at every day uh, from multiple sources and information that we gathered or were given to us from foreign sources, um, you know, these are tough calls. And the toughest job in the intelligence community is certain, determining what's actionable or not. And it's a tough judgment call for the president's Homeland Security Cabinet to say we need to raise the threat level. But you also say that you questioned the, uh, the, the, the fact that John Ashcroft and Donald Rumsfeld favored raising the alert level. Um, and wondered, is this about security or politics? Yep. The, uh, the, the sentence, that, that's the sentence has gotten uh, most of the attention. I'm using at that point because I know full well, having worked every day, just about every day, I was with uh, the Attorney General in the, in the President's uh, Oval Office talking and obviously worked uh, with Secretary Rumsfeld or DOD. I'm not second guessing why they went up. I'm musing as to whether there's things out there that I'm missing uh, because we felt so strongly internally that it did not warrant going up. As it turned out, that was the consensus and we did not raise the threat level. We have a clip uh, from Fran Townsend, the Homeland Security Advisor to President Bush, speaking on CNN last week about <laughs> the election eve meeting that you write about. You know, one of the people who was in that meeting was John McLaughlin, the acting director of CIA, and John Brennan, the current Homeland Security Advisor, was then the head of the National Counterterrorism Center. The only discussions I recall were on the margins of that. There was concern that if the, if we, if the intelligence supported raising the threat level, it might actually redound to the detriment of President Bush because people might perceive it being political. So did anyone in the administration ever discuss with you the potential negative political implications of raising the terror alert? Oh, 
again, it's, it's interesting that uh, Fran Townsend, uh, who is a loyal uh, confidant of the president, uh, uh, recalls that during that conversation, there was a concern about politics. <laughs> Uh, I, I find that very amusing. I hadn't heard that clip before. And I guess, uh, uh, it, again, if you, if you read the words and read the chapter, I think there was probably some concern as well because, uh, I mean, I don't think, I don't believe for a moment that uh, my colleagues were, had po- politics on their mind. It was always security. But remember, this is uh, several months after uh, uh, the election in Madrid had been changed because of a terrorist attack. So... I'm fascinated to uh, hear that uh, Fran Townsend thought that uh, there was a political discussion because I don't ever think that any of my colleagues raised it one way or the other for anything other than security. So you don't think that members of the administration, including Donald Rumsfeld and John Ashcroft, thought that keeping terrorism and national security at the forefront of the debate helped the president politically? Well, it's pretty clear uh, that, uh, and I talk about this in terms of the politics of terrorism, uh, there was a, a... Certainly, the Republican Party was perceived uh, as being stronger in terms of uh, combating uh, these ideologues, these zealots. Uh, And so you can't deny that fact, but I would uh, deny the notion that any of my colleagues, for the purpose of uh, keeping uh, President Bush's numbers favorable by design, by intention, willfully suggested that we raise a threat level to achieve that purpose. That well, was not in their heart or in their head. So, but are, are you suggesting that people shouldn't have been suspicious? Uh, I think uh, uh, Howard Dean, who was then the uh, the uh, chairman of the National Democratic Party, said that uh, the terror alert. Uh, uh, they raised and lowered it several times in fairly rapid succession, and he said it had something to do with politics. Well, Howard is just wrong. <laughs> okay. I, I, you know, he's just wrong. If, if The system is designed, if he knew a little bit about uh, the process that was involved, he probably didn't know that uh, uh, the intelligence community met a couple of times a day on secure videos to talk about information received. He probably doesn't know, uh, didn't know anything about the, the process itself. Uh, I said, uh, and I say this again, even the most powerful man on the face of the earth, uh, the President of the United States, could not unilaterally have pressured anybody or raise a threat level. It's just not designed to work that way. You need a consensus of men and women looking at intelligence, making a tough call as to whether or not you tell the country we have to raise our level of security to another level. So when Fran Townsend Townsend said that the negative impacts of raising the alert were discussed, was she misremembering? Was she lying? No, I, 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 her, her recollection, uh, is, I'll, I'll, it's fine with me to have her recollection. Uh, if that's her recollection, I'm, I'm quite comfortable with it. I think it's rather ironic uh, that I did not have that specific recollection. Uh, and I'm musing about, because we were wondering, is there something else out there that we need to be uh, thinking about uh, given the con- giving the weekend uh, before the national election? Uh, she obviously suggested that some people were worried about the political impact. I don't think we were.